This week it is Rez. She's owned by the Queen Mox. Uh, she's on FA and I believe she's, she's also on YouTube. So I'll link her below so you can check out her videos as well. So I decided to take this page out of my sketchbook just so it was a bit easier. The setup that I'm using with my camera isn't really the most convenient or easiest to work with. So uh, space is a valuable commodity. I'm just going through with my Copic liners. Um, with this, if I can remember correctly, I used the 005, the point one, the 0 0.1, point, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 8, and I think the BS brush, which does not stand for what some people think BS stands for. <laughs> but I very much recommend these pens. I tried the uh, Sakura Micron ones and that, mm, they didn't really do what I wanted them to do. So I've been using Copic inking pens since 2003? I was either 2003 or 2004. Um, this is a boho badge, at least I call them boho badges. Boho is uh, just a short term for bohemian, and what I'm trying to do is kind of give these more of a nature, meditation, um, heavily inspired by India, just, yeah, very bohemian. <laughs> at least that's where I've gotten my inspiration for them. So in this, she has a floating scarf around her. She's got uh, some jewelry, but I like to think that it, it would fit Rez fairly well. I suppose my personal style when I'm not lounging around the house would be more of a bohemian look. Uh, lots of neutral colors, but um, if you see me here on YouTube in normal clothes. It's probably me sitting around the house in a hoodie and shorts. Uh, I wear hoodies here because I get cold easy, even though yes I'm wearing shorts. But um, the pets that we have, we have two rats, which will soon be four, and I like sitting in my hood. So I'll turn my hoodie around. <laughs> So I'm just blocking in some of the extra black. I like making very bold black and white contrasts so that when I go back in with my color, it makes things, at least in my opinion, pop a little bit more. I'm just mapping out roughly where her markings go and then adding some white liner. I'm not entirely sure what that pen is called because it's not technically a uniball pen. All the rest of my pens are, but that one that I chose to use wasn't. Which actually has turned into my favorite pen to use that's white. That isn't, um, Windsor & Newton. <laughs> I'm filling with some Paper Mania. It's metallic green. What I used for writing res was a golden sharpie, if I remember correctly. Now it's time to do Copics! So with this, I always like shading my eyes. I'm not a massive fan of having brilliant white because naturally eyes are not completely white. So you'll see that there's a bit of a gradient in her eyes there. Hindsight, I probably would have done her eyes slightly differently because the red and the blue, ooh, sorry, in the final product, at least to me, it was a bit overkill. Um, so I'm brand new to doing anything with markers. I used Prismacolor markers back in the day, like 2004, and I was not very good at them. Like, 
I shouldn't be allowed to touch Prismacolors ever again. Not very good. <laughs> it was a recent investment that I finally got my hands on some Copic markers because I really want to break out of just doing digital work and focus on traditional as well. So Black Friday deals are fantastic and over here in the UK, um, the UK Amazon ended up having them on offer, so heck yeah. And then they messed up my order, so I got them even cheaper. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. And by messed up my order, I mean I didn't get my order that I paid like one day shipping for for about three weeks. So. And I use Prismacolor color pencils. Now those, I don't think you can actually get over here unless you buy them online. I've never seen Prismacolor anything for sale in the UK. So I'm used to using these color pencils. Um, I, I, I have used Crayolas for some of my badges. Not, not these ones, but when I was first starting out over here. And I mean, they work. but I definitely recommend the Prismacolor pencils because they're fun. <laughs> Anyways, I've got some more Winsor & Newton ink and I liked the look of adding some extra glitter to it. So I think that part ended up getting cut off, but I've gone over the whole thing. So the entire badge is gonna have this metallic sheen to it. It's very subtle, even though you can kind of see it in that one corner of the left-hand corner and also on the tails and whatnot. After I do all of my coloring, especially with color pencils, I like to go back over it with my black pens and then back over it again with white and then black again. So it, it sometimes the way I draw can be very confusing. But I've added this to some card paper that I have that I got from Hobbycraft with some sticky spray and at this point it's just laminating and then figuring out how I want to do the dangle badge well dangles rather to finish that boho look uh, I will I'll post sorry I won't post <laughs> I'll poke holes into this and I have found actually the easiest way to poke holes through laminate for these little clasps jump rings or split rings either or is to use a push pin. Um, I wish I would have thought about that a whole lot sooner. But this is the finished project after lamination was done. Unfortunately, the colors didn't come out on the camera as vibrant as they actually are. She's really cute. Also, if you suddenly hear like squealing noises, I've got two rats and they're chasing each other. <laughs> but I had an absolute ball making this. She is such a fun character and I've had the pleasure of drawing her a couple of times. So I really hope that you enjoy it. So if you have heard of the Queen Mox, totally awesome. Uh, and again, I'll link her down below. And if you enjoy this and would love to see more, like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it, especially as I am brand new to this YouTube thing and I'm learning with every video I post. See you later. Bye!